All right. Hi, it's me, Jake. I'm walking. As you can see, walking. Hi. Yeah. Um. Didn't think I would make you look at me the entire time. Um. I thought I'd take a walk and talk at the same time. Two things at once. This is my neighborhood, and I'm walking in. Um, I like to walk around here a lot. Uh, just, it's a nice Sunday. It's June something. Yeah. And, uh, it's the 27th, 3rd, some, I don't know. It's in the 20, 20s in June. And we're walking down a road talking to myself well actually I'm talking to you but you're a camera right now you won't be a camera this video goes up but currently you're a camera there's some bikers ahead that might think me crazy for talking to myself but you know the kind of guy I am, and they're turning anyhow. It's cool. So, I got tired of not making videos. Um, I made another Let's Play video and edited it and had it and haven't had the chance to upload it. Because um, that takes a really long time on the laptop I'm on uh, for some reason. And so, I thought I would just do a vlog, because I have this odd urge to make videos, and um, my life isn't cooperating as far as time. I have two jobs right now. Um, I work at a bakery, but I'm also doing a bunch of yard work for people. People um, with yards. That was my friend Keith. He just said hi. He saw me. And now he's gone. Um. Yeah. So, anyhow, what I had to talk about, other than talking about walking, which is probably entirely boring to you, is, uh. I don't know if anyone watches the Vlogbrothers, but they're this, um. Uh, they're on YouTube, and they're much, much bigger than me. They have more than one subscriber. Woo! And, uh, they started a book, like, club thing. Uh, well, their book club thing right now is, uh, The Great Gatsby, which I have with me right here. The Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby. And, um, it's one of those books that I was supposed to read in high school that I uh, didn't read and pretended like I did read and then I uh, proceeded to cheat on a test and by cheat I mean guessed it all the answers and hoped that I got a decent score uh, so I didn't really uh, cheat I guess and then I watched the movie but I didn't really pay attention so, I really didn't glean anything from that book at all, back in my high school days. Which I think it was middle school. I'm going to go down this alley, I think. Yeah. Alley. Alleys are cool. They're mysterious. Anyhow, I... Oh. People playing. Um, I was supposed to read it and I didn't. I just finished reading it. There was a line at the very end that just really struck me. I don't know. I'll read it to you right here. It probably doesn't mean anything. If you've not read this book, you should, and you should probably not watch this video about me ruining the last line of this book. But if you don't care, or if, if you have read it, the last line says, so we beat on boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. 
probably doesn't make a lot of sense to you if you haven't read the whole book. But basically, it is the main character, Gatsby, and his whole goal and motive and everything is to to get with this woman in the book. See, I'm ruining it for you. Yeah, if you if you've uh, not read this and want to, you should not listen any further. Her name is Daisy, and she's this woman that he met long ago, and she has since married, and and um, basically gone on with her life, and he's madly in love with her, um, but he can't really be with her, well, he thinks he can, but it doesn't work out in the end for him, and um, so, like, his whole goal and motivation throughout the entire book is really to get back to some point in the past he was at. Even, you know, like, even if he could get her to be with him again and to feel the way he wants her to feel, like, like, like to love him, which she says, says she does, um, it's bothering him and it bothers him that he can't erase the fact that she married this other person and fell in love with this other person as well and made this life with them. It's really upsetting to him. And so it's kind of pointing out that even when he's saying that, that he wants her, he, he wants her at this a specific moment in time. This, he, he wants Daisy from, from five years in the past before she ever met this other man and, and fell in love with him. He just wants this, not only this person, but this moment. And so, that's really what that's, the whole thing is saying, is is that, that, um, that a lot of times what we're after is not necessarily, like, a, a thing, or, or an, or, a like we're not after a, a place, or a person, or, or a, an object, or a house or anything like that. We're we're really after like a place in time, a specific moment, like everything about that moment is what we're after. And it's and we're just it's something unattainable completely. And I guess it just really struck with me because it's something I seem to come up against a lot in my life. Um that I'm always after like specific moments in time, like, if only I could get back to that moment, and, and, and I don't think of it that way, I think of it more like, oh, gee, I really miss those people, or that place, but, in reality, um, that people, that, that place and those, those people don't exist anymore, so it's really, really kind of upsetting because it's it's not something you can you can get. Um, so that just really really struck me. And um, for me, the biggest thing, I guess I'll tell you a story of my life. The entire story of my life. No. Um, I moved to a commune several years ago with my wife. It was in Missouri, and we lived there for a while. Um, and it was this commune, and about 50 to 70 people lived there, and it was kind of what you would imagine the commune to be. It was a bunch of hippies in the woods, living together, like sharing a lot of things, and, and you know, it had its ups and downs, and there were parts of it that weren't as, um, I guess, idealistic as you would think a commune to be. Um, but generally, it, it, it was what I was looking for at the time, and, and a lot of circumstances happened, and, and we had to leave, and I was really distraught and upset, and time after time, I would come back and, and to wanting to move back there, and thinking about, well, maybe I can move back there, and maybe, 
maybe I could do that. And um, um, it was something I really obsessed over a lot. I just thought about the commune and and moving there and just uh, being with those people again. Um, but I wasn't in a place in my life where I could do that and I just didn't end up doing it and um, as time went on like the people that lived there like slowly changed there weren't the, the a lot of the people moved away and different aspects of that place changed like and it just it suddenly one day well, it wasn't like one day it was like one day I visited there and I finally realized that it wasn't uh, the place I remembered anymore. Like, I had, and I felt like, oh, I waited too long, but really, I couldn't move back to that place in time. Like, the moment I left, it was too late. And, um, I think that's really something hard for people to overcome. And I'm not implying that I have, like, suddenly gained some great insight and have overcome, um, my want to, to re relive different parts of my life that were, um, not even necessarily happier, but just times that I remember being happy. Um, I think that's a key, is, if you look back in your life, I know when I look back in my life, most of the times I look back at are happier than I imagine the time I'm living to be right now. And I think it's kind of a weird thing, and maybe maybe other people don't experience it. And I, I wonder I, if anybody out there wants to post a video response or or comment or just comment on on if they experience that. Like, are there different parts of your life that you experience that don't seem really great at the time, but but as time progresses, you realize that, that that they really were better than you had thought. And it, it kind of becomes this recursive thing where the, the present moment is never as good as the past seems. And, and the future uh, seems like something that you could maybe just make better. Um, and I just wonder... If, if I'm the only one out there feels that way. Probably not. Oh, you should look at the trees. Crazy cool trees. These houses are huge. Not like my little apartment. So huge. Now I'm running out of camera space. I'm just going to show you this park I'm headed towards. But I only have a minute left. We could maybe make it to the park. I don't know. I think I've said all I've had to say. It wasn't too rambly. I know mostly you saw um, what was in front of me and not my face. But you really want to stare at this all the time. Not that you've seen a lot of videos of me talking. Uh, but, yeah. I think I have 17 seconds left this recorder before I hit the 15 minute mark and I don't want to make this into two segments. I'm really bad at that. So I'll leave you. Goodbye. Farewell.